Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Pained Wing. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating my favorite techniques for creating feathers and wings on birds. I'll show you how I paint the tail feathers on this fairy wren, and also the wings on a flying kingfisher. Before I get to that, I'll go over my favorite brushes for this technique and a few extra tips. So here are a few different shape brushes I have. I have an oval wash, two different round brushes, and a dagger brush. The shape of your brush will determine what type of mark it leaves. My favorite brushes are the Princeton Neptune series round brushes because they have a nice rounded tip on them. Here I'm showing a few different sizes of that brush. Here's an example of marks left by a silver black velvet round brush. These are lovely brushes, but they're too pointy for the look I'm going for. You can see the differences here. And then this brush I occasionally use for certain feathers. This is an oval wash brush. And then this here is a dagger brush. I honestly never use this one. I'm not the biggest art supply hoarder, but I do have some supplies I rarely use. Another thing to take note on is how wet your brush is, because that will change how things look. I'm going to create a line using a lot of water, and then one using a dryer brush. As you can tell, the one on the bottom shows more of the paper's tooth. I personally use both techniques, but it's something to be aware of while you paint. Also, the type of paper you're using can affect the texture of your marks as well. Cold press and rough paper are going to create more texture, opposed to smooth hot press. Another technique I'm going to show is adding water before you add brush strokes. Here I'm adding some clean water. Then I'm pulling my marks into it. You can also create the feather marks first and then add water afterwards to soften and blend things together. Next I'm going to show how I sketch out the wing. I just create a general shape of the wing. So let's pretend this is my wing shape. To start the shape of the wing, start with your brush tip on the outer line and move inwards. I'll show a better example of this later while I'm painting the kingfisher. And here's an example of when I use the oval wash brush. And on the sandhill crane, I use a small brush for these feathers up here, such as a number four. And then a large oval brush for the feathers down here. Here's that brush I used. And now I'm going to demonstrate how I paint the feathers on this kingfisher. I have a very light line drawn, and I'm going to brush inwards towards the orange wash that is still wet. I'm adding a little extra water to blend things in. I wish this feather was a little longer, so taking a small brush, I'm extending it.
and then I'll dab in some extra color into the wash before things dry. Now for the back wing, I'm lightly erasing my pencil marks so they appear lighter. And then I'm adding some color before I paint the feathers. And there are the wings. Pretty simple technique, but it does take some practice to get down. And then for the tail feathers, I'm going to use a smaller round brush that I think will work. And that looks good. The next quick demo will be on how I paint the tail feathers on this fairy wren. This first mark has some dryness to it, so you can see the paper's texture. Sorry for the blur. I don't pay much attention to my camera while I'm painting. So that piece just took three quick marks. I'm adding some water to soften the tail and add texture, but otherwise it looks great. I'll have the full tutorial of these on Patreon sometime soon. Thank you so much for watching this quick video demonstration. Let me know if you have any questions or any future video suggestions. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day.